Dr. Parasan, can you explain what this uh, program is all about? This learning program um, seeks to take advantage of the high-tech solutions that are available uh, nowadays to bring some ease to the acquisition of some skills that don't easily give themselves up to acquisition. And by that I mean the automated blood cell counter is a very technically advanced um, instrument that uses statistics to make a, a, a point in form or uh, in, 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 in trend. Ordinarily, you would expect the human eye to look under the microscope and examine about 200 cells. But the automated counter would examine thousands of cells. But then translate that information in statistical data that are very, very, very useful to unraveling pathology. Is there a reason why this is uh, particularly useful for students in Ghana to learn? Yes. Nowadays, almost all the regional hospitals have automated blood cell counters. That's how available they are in the world at large. And yet, the, the understanding of their results lag behind their availability. So I intend to use this to bridge the gap or close the gap between understanding and using the results of the automated blood count and its accessibility. It's very accessible now and when used properly it would help in the resolution of uh, abnormal, clinical abnormality uh, in, a, in a wide spectrum. And we need to, to close that gap so that we can add, we can, uh, 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 we can justify the, 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 the efforts and the money put into making such instruments available to us. Hmm. As the students go through the uh, course materials, uh, do you have any advice about how they should use these materials? As you click through, I would hope that you would first of all um, get the look at the video in which I describe the clinical situation and then seek to link that clinical situation to the findings on the automated blood count report which you will click on and that's not the end and then you link that to the uh, peripheral blood smear that you would look at that way you will be able to match all the abnormalities in the clinical case presentation the automated counting report and then the smear and once you put that together you have a three-dimensional picture of what's going on.